I'm here in Madison to help my friends Samantha and Dina. Dina's family is going to plant a rain garden in their yard. I know what you're thinking, a rain garden? Here's the deal. In cities and towns, rainwater that should be seeping into the ground ends up running off of roofs, driveways, sidewalks, roads, and parking lots into storm drains, which quickly move the water to rivers and lakes. Because of rapid runoff, the groundwater isn't getting refilled, the water table is dropping, and the drinking water supply in parts of our state is shrinking. Roger Bannerman and Susan Preeby are here today to show us how we can all help solve the runoff problem. Hi, guys. Hi, Maisie. You know, Maisie, we do have a shrinking water supply problem. And one way we can solve that is by building rain gardens. Rain gardens are nothing more than a little depression that the water flows into and slowly soaks in the ground. So instead of the water running off into the street and, and causing problems, it stays there and helps our water supply. Now, the water can come from the rooftop, it can come from the lawn, and just soak into that system. Also, we get the benefit of trapping pollutants. Again, pollutants would normally just run off a rooftop or lawn and go into the street, into our lakes and streams. Would you like to look at a rain garden? Sure. sure. Okay. Here we are. Uh, this is the rain garden that we've prepared for Dina's mom and dad. And the um, site has been dug. We placed rocks around the outside because Dina's mom really likes them. We've placed the rain garden so that it's between 8 and 10 feet away from the foundation so the water doesn't get in the basement. And this rain garden should take care of most of the roof runoff from this side of the roof. Next, we help Susan and Roger finish digging the rain garden. Then, Roger smooths out the center so that when it rains, the water will spread out evenly throughout the garden. That way, the ground can soak up as much water as possible. The final step before planting is selecting the best location for each kind of plant. They put the plants that prefer drier conditions around the outside of the garden and plants that like wetter conditions in the center, since that's where most of the water will go. Here we are. This is the fun part. We've got all the plants placed around the garden, and now we get to start. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, you dig a hole in the ground deep enough for your plant to go in, and you shake your plant out of the container. And then it's a good idea to stretch the roots out because these have been in the bot in their container for a while, so it's a good idea to stretch them out. And then you put, put it in the ground and pat the dirt around it. And and if you want to leave the tag on, that's a good idea. Then we know which plants they are. As you notice, there are a lot of plants here, so I've brought along my business partner, Ellen, and some friends to help us. So should we get these folks in to help us? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. Hey, hey, hi, everybody. Hi, hi, everybody. Wow, this looks great. And we're off. Look at all of us go. Planting this rain garden is so much fun, and we're definitely learning a lot along the way. Although there is one question that I'm still curious about. Hey, Roger, what's the difference between letting your grass soak up the rainwater and letting a rain garden soak it up? Well, the big difference, Macy, is the rain garden soaks up a lot more water. The rain, the grass can soak up a little bit of water, but so much water comes off the roof that you need something like a rain garden to trap all that extra water that would otherwise run off into the street. Okay. And so we keep planting. It feels so nice to be doing something so good for the environment, especially when you're having fun. Next up, Susan and Ellen finish up the rock chase. And finally, here it is, our freshly planted rain garden. It'll probably take a couple of years to get established, but here's how a rain garden could look. Aren't rain gardens beautiful? I had so much fun learning how to plant a rain garden. It just goes to show you that a little bit of work goes a long way. That's it for today. We'll see you next week with more incredible adventures. Bye.